Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. Today I have these knotless braids and I got the inspiration from Dom the Tastemaker here on YouTube and on Instagram. Love her since like my first few videos. I think I, I had in one of my like first five videos I think I had a video from inspired by her. So she's inspired me from the beginning. I think you should definitely check her out if you haven't already, if you don't know who she is. All her hair always amazing. This video is a voiceover because I was getting ready to go to brunch and as you can see I've had a few mimosas. And it's time for me to go to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and let you get into this video. And hopefully this voiceover is a more youthful and alive meme. And I'll have the actual hair review towards the end. So stay tuned for that. All I got to say is, Mwah! And you already know who it is. <laughs> Off the bat, I just want y'all to know I was not going to force y'all to watch me braid all this hair. That's what I wasn't going to force y'all to do. So I've already braided the whole back half of the head and I beaded it and I will show you guys how I got this style but please no baby I wasn't going to do y'all like that. Y'all didn't have to endure that and I also did pluck and bleach the frontal. Now this lace is dark. This lace is dark for me personally. I was very scared about it but um, I think if I would have did another layer of this even tinted lace spray I have it in the shade light warm brown. I think if I would have did another layer, it would have been like perfect, but I didn't because I'm a dumbass. I saw an older video where a lady experimented using the red color remover to make her lace lighter. So I think with the next full lace wig I have, because I have another one that's from them, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to use that technique and I'll record the whole process for y'all. I can make a bitch with some shit. I'm calling Boosie out. Not to be one of those people, but I saw the video on YouTube when it only had like 4,000 views on it. And I feel like I witnessed a whole moment, a whole era before anyone else did. And the song still being 8 million views later. Sh stream coochie, <laughs> period. But um, now I'm going ahead and I'm inserting my wig. I guess now I can talk about that gotta be spray, the new one or whatever. The only thing I think is different about it is that it don't smell as like spray -y. like it don't smell like a hairspray but it dries fast but it's the same thing you know it's just in a different bottle it just dry faster and it don't smell like that that's about it there's been no difference in like wear time or like I, I don't know I really couldn't find a, a huge major difference between that and the original gotta be spray I mean I probably buy that one again only because I did notice it dries faster but other than that it's the same spray in a different bottle to me in my personal opinion now i'm kind of sorry but like not that sorry but it's gonna be blurry for a second <laughs> And like you see, I'm I'm like kind of sorry, but like you can still see it, and it look it look probably even better than what it probably looks like in real life because like I said, this lace was dark. So at least in person, this lace was like super dark on me. But on this camera, boo, y'all can't tell me shit. So am I really mad at this this RuPaul's Drag Race season one filter on my camera right now? No, I'm not mad at it. So now I'm just gonna hit and blow dry again. I did this in smaller sections. Or as I cut it off, I think LaRaja Andrea does this. She um, cuts her lace off and then secures it in that same moment. And I like this process. Um, it seems more efficient to me than just razoring it all off and then doing it all at once. Because I had to do it in sections anyway, even if I do have all the lace off. So to handle the section as I cut off the section, it seems like a smarter idea. So that's what I did. And now it's time for the star of the show, the knotless braids. So these braids, I really wish I did them differently looking back on it now. But at this point, I was getting ready to go somewhere and 
you know, safe social distancing. I'm wearing my mask. Wear your mask. Don't be out here being stupid. I went to brunch, and it was very spacious in that brunch place. I don't know. Be be weary of where you're going and what you're interacting with. Got to make sure I say that. But, um, you know, I was going somewhere, so I, like, was trying to hurry up. But I would, um, and next time if I did this style on my head, I would probably rubber band each individual section so I would get less flyaways. Or maybe towards the back. I didn't use any product on the back of the hair. I simply just used water and just braided it. So maybe next time I would actually gel each section into each and then, and then braid it like I'm doing the front. You'll see then later. But right now I'm just doing the baby hair. And the baby hair, honestly, to me, this style were kind of mid. But again, was going somewhere. And as you can see right now, I'm having a little trouble because my lace was lifting right there and it wouldn't, it wouldn't do it. But I said fuck it after a point and just moved on. But yeah, I plucked the hell out of this wig. That's what I did. I really did. It was really amazing. I, I I feel like I get better each time I pluck a wig. So even though you're not able to see it because of how the style is, just know, baby, I plucked the hell out of this wig. And if you weren't going to see it, somebody had to tell you, and that somebody's going to be me right now since you didn't get to see. But yeah, I'm just doing my baby hair with my wet line. Y'all be asking what I do use to my baby hair. To do my baby hair, and it's always wet line. If anything, if it's anything different, I'll probably say so. But if I don't say anything, it's wet line for sure. That's my gel of choice. I did end up putting on a scarf because I wanted my edges to stay still while I braided the hair. And I didn't want to disturb them. So now I just parted my hair up into four spaces and I did them individually. So I did one half split in two and then the other side split in two. And you're just going to start braiding after you wet it and comb through. See, it's not even blurry no more. Did you even notice that it was, it was blurry that long? No, you didn't. So it was fine. That's why I'm not that sorry. Anyway, I'm um, coming through. Just make sure there's no tangles, no knots. And it is easier to braid this hair when wet than rather than dry. And so I did add gel to the base of this um, braid. And I'm zooming in for you so you can see. But also maybe you can still see because I got these long ass nails. And it's like, are you really even getting the gist? But um, baby, I'm just doing a little plait. A little plait. Ain't nothing, nothing special. Nothing crazy. Nothing hard. You got this. I believe in you. You can do this plait. I think you can. And I'm going to just keep doing it. And no, I'm not going to make you watch me braid this all the way down. Because that would really be cruel. Imagine if I just sat here and made y'all watch me braid this whole wig. Would y'all really be into that? Because I feel like we can get the gist. I just parted the back into some sections that was big enough to me. And I just braided it down like this. And then towards the end, I would spray it with a little spray bottle. And I wrapped a little curler on my finger, give it a little curly cue, and seal the braid. And then I would just move on. And each time I did like a little a little section, so a line of braids, I would braid them all at once. And then go back and add the beads all at once as well. So I wouldn't be adding the beads all together. But yeah, so I'm just going to move on section to section. And you'll see here, this is me braiding again. And aren't you so glad, once again, that I did not make y'all watch me braid this whole head. Because had I had y'all set up to record me braiding this whole head, y'all would have seen me butt naked in my bed um, braiding. You know, it just wasn't a sight to see. But that's how you get your break, your, your beads to the loop. It was not a very good example. And I didn't record another example for you. And I'm very sorry. So if, if you would like to see, I would suggest using the YouTube slow option. But yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not that hard. If you was a little black girl, you know how to put on some beads. Uh, at least I'd hope so. You just seal it and then that's your beads. I ran out of gold beads at the front, so I just used all the clear ones. And I cut off the excess because I didn't have time for the flyaways. And I guess you can see now that my lace does not look terrible. But I'm really just used to transparent lace at this point. It's kind of, yeah. But this is the final look and I'm adding my LA Girl Finishing Powder to just finish off this look and make sure the lace isn't as dark as it could be. But yeah, we're all finished up now, and I didn't get to show you guys the final look when I before I left, but I did come back after brunch. But y'all, I was I was a little gone after mimosas, and I was a little tired, so I'm a little sorry for the energy in this intro and outro, but that's what I have for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this look, and I'll be back in a second with the finished look. Okay, so here's the final look and my earring just fell out. I hope my voiceover was good enough because I was running late to brunch and I couldn't really like finish on camera or talk, but I wanted to make sure I recorded the style. So I have a few things to say about this hair. Um, we can start with how it looks right now. But um, first, I have to touch up this lace. This lace is dark. And yeah, had it not been for like how, how the shipping and stuff is happening right now, I would have sent it back and asked for transparent lace, but I didn't want to do that because of how everything is going on right now. So I was trying to see if I could make it work. I saw this girl on YouTube. I'm just using my face powder on it so I can try to like 
make it match a little more. I don't know if this is helping for real, but it, it makes it it's making it up in my mind. My lace definitely is up right here. That's cool. I'm just put that braid back over it. But um after I put this powder on it makes me feel a little bit better. But I feel like I'll have to like do this during the day to like feel safe. I don't want fixing it before I show y'all, but I guess I want to give it its best presentation before I just be like, here's the hair, you know? But I at least want to give it its best, like, shot. As you can see, it's like some straight hairs, but I honestly think that's because I didn't, like, rubber band it. I didn't want to rubber band it because I didn't have the wig on my head when I was putting it on. So I think if I put, like, a do-rag on and let that sit, that would probably fix this problem. Will I do that? No. I guess I'm going to show y'all the back of my head now. I ain't even seen the back of my head. I want the whole ass brunch. I ain't give a fuck what I was looking like back there. Nobody's gonna beat me up if my hair was a mess, and that's just how I felt about that. But I'm hoping the spray that I did like helped it enough. <sighs> I have no clue what edit I'm putting over this, cause I don't know what it looked like or if I'm editing it at all, because I really just don't know. I got this little bun back here, and I do not care. But I kind of like that my like edges is right here. I don't know. I have no clue what this looks like. I'm not gonna look. I love falling. I, I knew better spinning around on a three-legged chair. That's what I knew better than. As for the actual hair, I thought it was so soft. And that, like, actual texture of the hair, I wish I would have got um, a video of. It's just a water wave, but it's such a nice water wave. It's, like, not the looser water wave. It's, like, a curlier water wave. And if you know hair, you know what I'm talking about. Other than the lace being really dark, it was the knots bleached so easy. Like, it was, it was so easy. I plucked the wig so easy. The whole process was nice. It fit my head really nice. And I know some extra space back here for somebody with a bigger head than me. So, I have a good time. Besides this dark lace. This dark lace. That's an issue. I have no, I have no idea what shade this is. Maybe just the medium brown lace. I can't be wearing medium brown lace and getting away with it and not feeling self-conscious out, out and about in public. So, for the next tutorial, because I have another hair with them, I'm going to see if I can try to lighten lace. And that's gonna be like a little experiment I'm gonna try, so look forward to that. Yeah, I'm just keep spraying this because I really don't feel like putting on a do rag right now to show y'all what that would look like. No offense, I'm tired. I went to brunch. I had a few mimosas. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll stand up for you guys as well, or maybe I'll zoom out. Give me a second. Here I am, zoomed out, so you can see the length. This was 22 inches, and I braided it and beaded it. Um, this was just a pack of like glitter and gold beads. I ran out of gold in the front, so I had to just make these gold. But you probably couldn't even tell. So I said that. And I thought somebody gonna ask. These earrings are from Sorella, um, black owned, like Fashion Nova S brand. Check them out. This also this shirt and this jacket and this set from my like um, thumbnail from Sorella. I'll have links in the description. I'm ready to take a nap. So I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see you tomorrow, baby. Bye, beautiful.